everyone, welcome back to Terradio, and I have got a few announcements to make before we start the video. So our first one is that we have got this new NPC called Haley. I'm pretty sure it's like a, I don't know, I'm pretty sure she wants just to work at the zoo, I think. So she sells a lot of animal themed items like lizard ears, lizard tail, koi kite, and you can actually use the kite properly got a cat license which we can get like a pet cat I think leather whip apparently whips are really good for when you're in easy mode well not easy mode but like I forgot what it's called like the first half of Terraria like before you beat the wall of flesh so that could be a challenge for one time only using whips to try and beat the game we've got a squirrel hoop which is like a like a grappling hoop basically and we've got a guide to critter companionship which prevents us from hurting critters while in the inventory. I don't even know what that would do but oh well. So yeah, uh, our zoologist is going to be living on this floor of I'm right and our snow house is done. I'll just go, I can't really show you guys because we can't teleport to it but yeah we chose to have uh, how have you see that guy's name? The Goblin Tinkerer and Nancy the Mechanic. Because apparently, I was looking for what teams to put together for each biome, and it said that those two were very well together. So, this is our mushroom biome. There's mushrooms hanging off the bottom of it, you don't usually do that. I don't know if you might enjoy that. Okay, I don't think. Okay, maybe they are supposed to do that. I don't know. I've never seen it before. So the other day I actually bought the um, mushroom pylon and we can buy the snowy pylon but I'm not going to buy them because we're going to wait until like the end episode when we've built every pylon house. But in this episode we're going to be building the desert house. So we're going to be, well, we're going to be doing the desert house and the mushroom house will be next video. Since that one's like super easy to do, because you know, we've already got one room there, so we really need one more to do. But we're going to the desert, which I think is this way. I haven't really, like, after the update, it resetted all my progress, so I can't really see where I've been and stuff now, so. I've got, uh, yeah, it is here. I had a feeling it's here. But yeah, it hit graveyard biome. I kind of had a feeling it would be a lot of graveyards here. Let's just go and destroy all these graveyards first. There? Is this literally gonna do? Or do we go up here a bit? Okay, that's the hollow desert, so we can't really do that. We'll have to do it literally here then, I guess. Or down here. I'm not sure what way is better. I think we'll do it here then. The enemies are so easy for us to beat now, though. That scorpion are quite hard though, I'm pretty sure. Are they? Or is that another thing I'm thinking of? I don't know. Right, so we need to dig this out, this floor out a bit. Just enough to build two houses. I'm not really sure the design we're going to go for these houses, because I kind of had an idea to go for a snowy cabin in the desert, but... Is there a desert wood? I've never actually thought about having a desert wood. Don't think there is, it's only cactus, isn't there? And then you've got these. Yeah, I don't think there is a desert wood. Hmm. Oh well. We can get one. We'll just use normal wood, I guess. Right. Let's see. Our inventory dog is so full. Uh, right, we don't need any boro things. Actually, we need this boro workbench, but we only need that to place it literally right down. Uh, come on, I don't want that. No, I want this. I don't want the other this thing. For God's sake. It's so confusing. You don't need any cat to see for doing. Put that in there then. Right, good. We've got a workbench now, but we still haven't placed them. Place that there for now. It'll do for now. Get out my way, bunny. Oh, 
That was an actually a bunny, it was a bunny slime, but you know what I mean. Right, we need to get this host built fast, because in the desert there's always enemies coming from literally every direction. Pink prickly pear. Oh well. Doesn't seem that use, um, useful, so... I'm guessing we're just going to use normal wood then. I think. Right, let's get the normal wood then. So I'm gonna try and make this video. I might do a bit. I might cut a bit of it out on like last time. So I'm pretty sure that's six tall. So just do it one more. If I can even place the blocks. There we go. Now we need to go on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We're gonna do this as two horses, if you know what I mean. Because we don't really want to do. So, where's the middle? And then I'll need to count this again. One, two, three. I think that's where this middle should be, right? Not that one, but. I'm not sure though. I'll have to check. I'm pretty sure that is it though. That must be it, surely. I don't know, I'm still gonna check. I might need to actually do it along one more. Or I don't know. There's vultures everywhere and I'm panicking. Even though they look so easy for us to take out. Uh, oh well, I'll just place and count then. Let's destroy the floor so we can actually replace it with wood. I hate it when you do it, it's because I've got such a fast pickaxe and it just makes like more holes than I want to. Okay. I think we've finally fi uh, woke and figured it out. So... I'm really concerned about this. It does not look like it's going to match into a desert biome. Yeah, we need two doors anyway. Oh, guys, where did we find the doors? Oh, here they are. We need two. I really need to sort my inventory out for next video. Um, I never fish anymore, but I also never collect bugs. And I also never make potions unless there's a big boss fight coming up. I'll get rid of the sand, I don't know. There's nothing else I can really get rid of, so... Away from me. Oh, we need another door as well, for God's sake. Get away, Vulture. I'm gonna set you on fire with cursed flames. Right, now we can finally make another door. There's a mummy coming, so I want to do this quick. What? Mummies can open doors? I didn't know that. Okay, that might be a bit of a problem for NPCs that live here. I don't even know if this is even going to count because of this wall. But, oh well. Better count, because I'll be mad if it doesn't. They close the door before anything else comes. This one does not look as much like... It does not look as decorated as the last time, but... I'm still gonna make, oh my god, mommy. They actually got more health than you think as well. Right. It's actually starting to look like it's getting dark, so I'm gonna put some torches down. Is there a desert spreading away? Like, whenever I stand from this block, this does not count as a desert. We need like a biome detector in the game so we can see what biome we're in. That would be like the best thing ever for me because I always get lost. And whenever like I stumble across a new biome, I'm always like, oh where am I? I don't know where I am, am I supposed to be here? Then I start panicking when I get killed. Or mummies or a giant turtle or something. What are these things that are going circles around us as well? I've never seen these before. I don't know what they actually are. Then they just disappeared at random times. 
what actually are they? I don't want the mask. Actually, I might keep that because it's coming Halloween soon. But I threw the, I threw the shirt away as well. So, oh well. I don't know. This might be our last Terraria video before Halloween. No, it won't. Quite probably it will. Maybe actually, I don't know. Just gotta keep these mummies away from this house without breaking the walls at the same time. Get away! Still not going to be enough. Surely that's enough now. I'm really concerned. It's like the desert is sort of like spreading in, and I really don't like it. Right, we all we need now is a couple of things. A couple of. I don't know why we got all of this. Yeah, all we need now is a couple of chairs and tables. Right, I'm gonna check uh, the Terraria wiki to see what ones are meant to go in the desert. Right guys, um, I left that off the video. You guys didn't really see, but basically Skeletron Prime came and it was a blood moon, so I was getting swarmed with mobs and a big skeleton was trying to kill me. Okay, the health bar's up. actually really nice. Why are these possessed armors teleporting to it? When is that really thing? Yeah, we're losing this. I, don't, I didn't have any heal potions on me. And I lost it because it was way too overwhelming. I think I might have used my last... Oh no, I've still got six health potions. Maybe I just couldn't use one because of the time limit. So yeah, I was just looking up the desert pylons and it said that the air is getting colder all year and then I'm like, oh no, something bad's going to happen. And I remembered it was Skeletron Prime. If it was the twins or the destroyer, we probably could have bet him, but... Yeah, luckily, yes, sadly it wasn't. And there's still enemies everywhere, but it's just... Uh, I don't know how we're going to finish the house with all the songs. I, th I think the houses actually are finished. I know what we need to do, we need to. I need to put wood at the, um, these pumpkin things at the door so nobody else can come. But that'll, that'll work, so I don't know. I broke the floor, but oh well, nobody can get in now. Then close that door. And there's nobody can get in. Right, since nobody can now get in, let's put this whole and query thing in. This video is going to be quite long, so I'm probably going to have to take bits out of it. So I want the arms dealer in this one. So we just need to press triangle and put him here. Next, we're gonna have the painter here. Oh no, should we I think we'll do the die trader, you know. Might be a lot of dies up here that the die trader's not seen. What even is do we even have a die trader? I don't even know if we have a die trader. Okay, I don't think we do have a die trader. Let's get the painter here then. Uh, I always forget how to do this. There we go. Right, now, we can collect these goodie bags and search them. Uh, how do we open these goodie bags? Ooh, we got some. What did we get? Cat ears on oh, that's perfect. Don't really see why we'd get cat ears out of a spooky Halloween bag, but oh well. I don't know, I guess we'll just fight off the rest of this night. Uh, but I'm going to end that video here guys, because it's probably really long. So I hope you've all enjoyed. Remember to subscribe because it is completely free. Remember to check out my Instagram, which will be somewhere in the video. So yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video everyone. Bye.